A special thanks to our sponsors. Hey everybody, welcome back to Spars Outdoors and this is your fishing report for the week. We're going to start off on Lake St. Clair and then move north is how I'm going to do it this week. Lake St. Clair, there's plenty of ice on canals. Some of them are still spotty, but after this cold front that we had last night and tonight, anything that's three to four inches is now going to become five to six inches easily. Um, them soft pockets that were on some of those canals, there was a couple of them soft pockets you had to watch out for. Those are going to be... Those are going to be nice and hardened by tomorrow. So any of the canals that you've been on, they're going to, you know, they're going to gain ice. Some of those canals that we haven't been able to get to, I think we're going to be able to get to. But then we got that 42 and 43 degrees. If that really happens and we get rain with that, it's going to diminish that ice and make things honeycombed and spotty again. This has been the most crazy year I've seen. But there are there are guys out on the bay now. We've seen guys out a long ways where they shouldn't have been. Crazier than I am, that's for sure. And you guys know I went on some sketchy ice, but there was guys way clear out. I mean, we as far as you could see yesterday, and that was all wide open the day before. So that was that kind of had me a little worried if they were going to make it in, but obviously they didn't. Uh, actually, I heard they got some good fish, but I, I expect that ice where they were to be nice and solid by tomorrow morning. You know, you're going to get... A good day day and a half to fish and it's probably gonna lose some ice with that with that warm front coming crazy year you guys know that have been going down and the guys that haven't been going down uh, the cuts are full of fish the cuts are full of fish you just got to find them and work at them I had a different cut you know almost each day and I find fish in every cut so that's that's good news the good news is you're gonna go and you're not gonna get skunk if you're getting skunk something's wrong change your baits change your colors change your tactics I have give you guys tips, tricks, and tactics to help your success, and hopefully you guys are using those, because that's what I'm using when I'm down there. I'm not sugarcoating nothing. Whatever you see me do is exactly what I'm doing, and I give you guys a, a lot of people, I, I've been getting a lot of stuff about, well, how come you're not showing the world where you're at, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. A lot of you guys know the reasons and the answers to that. I'm giving you more of a first person's look down the hole on what I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm and, and you can see the way I jig my, down to the how I jig my rod. If you pay close attention, you can see the way I jig my rod. So that, that should help you, you know, doing that slow drop for the crappies, you have to. People, people all the time, they'll, they'll get a, you don't get me wrong, you'll get a few crappies just jing, 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 and they'll bite, and that's the guys that say, hey, I've got five crappies, and then we go in there and we catch our limit. So I look for those reports. I look for the guys saying, hey, I've got five, ten crappies today. Well, okay, we're coming. And we're coming hard because I love crappie fishing. We know how to fish them hard, and 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 we know how to catch them crappies. It's lots of years of work, learning, and still learning. Every time you go out, you learn something. But anyways, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about how to catch these fish. You guys know the canals are full of fish, so get on those canals, catch those fish. Perch are everywhere. Everywhere anybody that's been onto the bay has caught perch, and they've been big perch. Nice. Not, I can't say jumbos. But any, anything to me, my jumbo and your jumbo is two different things. That's how that goes. Anything between 8 and 10 inches is the perfect perch to, for me. That's that's just my perfect perch. A lot of guys say, well, I want 10 plus inch perch. Okay, well, you know, head to Semco and hopefully they're having a good day because Semco I heard is hit or miss right now too. So same with Mitchell's, all that stuff. Yeah. Everybody looks at fish at a different perspective. A keeper is a keeper if you think it's a keeper. If you can clean that fish, hey, I'm not bashing anybody. I keep fish for the family to eat. So I keep fish that I can clean. And I keep I don't keep little small baby fish. I don't do that. You guys see in my videos what I keep. That's what I keep. And I do it because that's what I like to keep. So anyways, the canals are all full of fish. Out in front of the raft restaurant, you know, everybody knows the raft. You go on Lake St. Clair, you go to the raft and you can go off and go to the left. I've seen nobody over there, but the ice is safe over there. And I know there's panfish and I know there's perch. Off straight out in front of the raft, they're getting some nice perch. And the cuts at the raft, now, tread lightly. The ice in the canal was opened up two days ago. The bay pushed, that hard wind pushed some ice in there and, and, then, and then it stopped. And, it, and we had a calm day and the bay froze over. And then that mouth of that raft canal froze over. But I'm expecting that to only be a couple inches, even after tonight. So be careful going in there. Take a spud with you wherever you go, no matter where you go. There is no such thing as safe ice. Everybody says, well, is the ice safe? Is the ice safe? 
There is no such thing as safe ice. Always carry a spud. Even when the ice is 12 inches thick, 15 inches thick, people go out there with chainsaws, cut holes, and then they don't pull their ice out like they're supposed to. They push it under the ice. Carry your spud with you. I know it's been a janked up year with the ice fishing, you know, with the way the temps have been, but you, there's still lots of fishing to do. There, there's, and now, now you can take your kids and get on some of those canals. If I was you and I had kids to go fish and I'd fish canals, even knowing people are going on the bay, just safer. There's gas pockets out there. There's spots of open water still. As of today, there were still spots on the bay, you know, where there was ice, open water, ice, open water pockets. And, and that's what I worry about the most. But either way, hit the canals. You can get out in front of the raft, you know, right in front. All that in Fairhaven there, you know where you can go. Don't go out too far. Don't be that guy. That's the guy that's going to end up going in. You know what I mean? Just fish where you normally fish, and you'll be okay after this. But but I'm not telling you what's going to happen after that warm front yet, because I don't know. The weather could change, because, you know, weathermen get paid to tell you the weather. And that, guessing. Everything changes, especially in Michigan, especially with the lake effects, all that stuff. Lots of pan fish down on Lake St. Clair. Lots of perch going on Lake St. Clair. If you know your spots, get to them. Let's come right down to Port Huron. Black River is froze over. The marinas, they've got spotty ice on them. I will say that the owners of one of the local marinas where I do some work on boats in there do not want people fishing. So, with that, do as you may. Uh, I'm allowed to go in there, but I'm not even allowed to go on the ice. If I go in there, they want me to fish off the docks. So that's how serious they're starting to get. That you know, if you get if you get caught up in there. That's on you. They do not want people fishing. There's a marina right next door. And if you can get access to that, that's more, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do there. Um, some of the canals right off of Black River. Not the main canal. The canals where people live on. There's canals all up and down Black River. They're holding panfish right now. Um, right there along the Lions Club. I'm not going to say much about it. There's fish in there. There's panfish in there. Um, I'm not going to give you no reports on ponds. I'm not going to give you no reports on ponds because I don't trust pond fishing unless we have a deep freeze for a long time. Ponds are deep and ponds are huge and ponds get full of weeds. And you guys know they are dangerous, especially if the ice ain't super, super safe. I'm sure they're getting on 40 Street Pond, working around the docks and working out. But I'm not going to tell you guys to go do that. You guys know what's in there. There's pike, there's crappies, there's perch, there's bluegills, there's everything, bass. It's mainly known for pike fishing under the ice. I don't trust ponds, so... I don't eat fish out of ponds. I'm not telling you what to or what not to do, but I just don't trust ponds. Um, if you want to try it, take a spud with you and go. Head up to Port Sand Lake of Lexington. They're getting on the ice. They're not getting much fish action going on. Seeing fish, not catching many. Port Sand Lake and Lexington, same things. Them perch are there. It's just if you can find them safely. You know, they're just everywhere you go, take a spud. Take a spud with you. It's, we've had a janked up winter. S same thing with Caseville. Up there in Caseville in the harbor for the lake trout, you know, yes, there's good ice and then there's bad ice. And I've heard great things and I've heard bad things. If I was to go to Caseville, I'm not going for lake trout. I'm not going for bird, but I'm not going for walleye. I catch them things all year long out of my boat. I don't need to go chase them on the ice. I don't have no interest, but a lot of guys love to fish those things underneath the ice. You know, they give you more of a fight, whatever. Well, that's your opinion, and my opinion is different when you got 10 color lead core out and 200 feet of water and you're reeling it. You know what I mean? There's a big difference. So I don't chase them too much, but if that's your thing, get up to Caseville and go fish for those, but take your spud, be careful, go where the other guys are at. You know, that's what I do. I go right where they're at, follow their footprints, whatever you got to do. Be safe. Be safe. If I was to go to Caseville, though, I'd head over behind the Alexander's Bait and Tackle, and I'd be going for them perch and them panfish that are in there because they're in there thick, and you got to work for them. But they're getting big pike. They're getting perch. They're getting crappies. They're getting bluegills. It's a good place to go fish and take your kids because they got solid ice. Now, you guys know when that opens up, what happens is big jumbo perch, the river is right behind the bait shops, full of perch. So, just call up to Alexander's Bait and Tackle there in Sea Wing, and they will give you they will give you a, an honest and good report. You know, so that's about all I have for you for the fishing report for the week. I want you guys to be sure to be safe. You know, especially if you don't have a float suit. I'm not saying float suits are going to save your life because there's many people that's went through with float suits and 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 haven't made it out. But get yourself a float suit if you can. You know, either way, take a spud. Have somebody with you. Don't go out there alone, especially if you're going out on the bay. Do, don't go alone. 
nowhere. Don't go. Don't go alone. I won't. I won't personally go ice fishing by myself. The like I I can't say that I will. If we have a good ice year where there's 10, 12 inches of ice, you know that's different. But this time of year, everybody's wanting to get out. You know they haven't been able to get on that ice yet, so everybody's pushing it. Go 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 go. Take somebody with you. Be very safe. Just just go out there and have fun and catch fish. I hit the canals. You know out in front of the raft is my best perch report I've had. I know that Metro's got that iffy stuff going on. It's got that iffy stuff going on. A lot of people like to go to Metro. Be very, very, very careful. Now, the marsh has fish. Uh, they were catching some big fish in the marsh, some big pan fish. So that's safe ice in the marsh. But also, there was I was told there was some soft spots too, so be very, very careful. They had they had some that was that's how the marsh goes. It, it them cattails heat things up in there and and, and just you know it, it gets soft quick. So with these cold temps, though, you're good for the next couple days. But after that warm up, I don't know what to I don't know. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be safe or not. Uh, all we can do is hope and and think you know for the best and hope the weatherman's a little off and those temperatures at night drop down way below freezing and everything will still be good. And that rain don't come. That's that's what we can hope for. So that's your fishing report for the week, guys. I hope everybody gets out and gets some fish this weekend. Any of you guys who haven't made it ice fishing yet, I'm really hoping you can you can get out there. I'm going to be doing a jig box, for an ice fishing jig box giveaway probably tomorrow or the next day. I'm going to set up a nice box. I'm going to do a giveaway. It's going to have some tungstens in there. It's going to have some thump and plastic in there. Gonna have some, it's going to have, I got a lot of sponsors going on, not even all of them around my hat. Uh, I got some big announcements for that coming up, but... I'm going to be doing a, an ice fishing box giveaway, and it, you can use that in the spring, too. We do a lot of spring crappie fishing. You can use those same jigs in the spring, and and even walleye. You guys will see some, some videos coming up, some of the crazy things we do to catch fish. You guys are going to get to see that. Uh, if you haven't seen my walleye fishing with the gummy worms, I was jigging gummy worms, and just go watch that video. I'm sure you guys will like that one. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway where I'm going to take somebody out with me for the day and show them the exact things that I'm doing that, you know, firsthand. And I'm, it's almost like a, a day of fishing with me. I know everybody's going to be like, oh, that's kind of stupid, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're going to learn some things. You're going to catch some fish. And I'm going to be doing that when I find a nice pot of fish where I know I can take you and have one heck of a day of ice fishing. Anyways, if you haven't already, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Keep on watching. And I'm going to keep on bringing these fish reports and all the action to you guys right here on Spars Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Usually I'll end my outro with some music, but I'm just going to tell you guys, thank you all from the bottom of my heart who have liked, subscribed, shared, and kept this channel growing. I want to thank you all so much.